Welcome to RC3 activity. This is the video of DC rectifier voltage using rectifier with filter capacitor. First of all, characteristic of rectifier diode is shown. When diode is forward biased, its potential at anode is higher than potential at the cathode and current flows like this. When diode is reverse biased, its anode potential is lower than that of cathode and no current flows. This is the symbol of the diode. VD is the voltage drop across the diode and the ID is the current flowing through the diode. This is the characteristic of the ideal diode where during the forward bias diode is considered on, there is no voltage drop. During reverse bias diode is considered off and there is no flow of current. This is the characteristic of the practical diode where some voltage drop occurs in the forward bias and during reverse bias minor little current flows. This is the half wave rectifier where a sine wave is input with this equation and one diode is used. This is the load. These are the input output waveforms where input is of the time duration t and the half positive half cycle is of time duration t by 2. Negative half cycle is of time duration t by 2. And in this half wave rectifier, during positive half cycle, this diode becomes four bias, it is on, and we get the output at the like this. During negative half cycle, diode becomes reverse bias, it is off, and we don't get any output. So, this is the repetitively flow loss like this. Okay, and this is the equation of average voltage where this formula is used. We have to integrate the output voltage from 0 to T and we get the average voltage. So the average voltage is Vm upon pi for half wave rectifier. Now half wave rectifier example. A 50 ohm load resistance is connected across a half wave rectifier. Input supply voltage is 230 volt 50 hertz. Now we have to find DC output voltage, average voltage, peak to peak ripple in the output voltage and percentage ripple and ripple frequency. The first peak amplitude Vm of input is v, root 2 multiplied by 230. So it is 325.3 volt. Output DC or average voltage is Vm upon pi that we have shown and we get 103.5 volt. Peak to peak ripple in output is nothing but difference between maximum and minimum output voltage. So we know that is V peak to peak. Hence it is Vm minus 0 that is 325.3 volt. Now percentage ripple is nothing but V peak to peak divided by V average multiplied by 100. So we get 314 percentage percentage ripple. It is very high and ripple frequency is nothing but the frequency at the output and this frequency is same as the supply frequency as we have seen in the waveform. So ripple frequency in case of half wave rectifier is 50 hertz. Now half wave rectifier with filter capacitor. This is used to reduce the ripple. So here we have used one transformer, a diode is used. So it is half wave rectifier and a capacitor is connected across the output. So it must be a large electrolytic capacitor to reduce the ripple. And during positive half cycle, this capacitor charges because diode is on. During negative half cycle, diode is off and capacitor is not charged. But capacitor discharges through this resistor. So this is shown in this waveform. And gradually, after some cycles, the output across the load looks like this. So it is almost equal to peak and whenever capacitor is discharged, it gets reduced by some amount. So average voltage is almost equal to maximum peak voltage Vm. Now how to calculate the value of the filter capacitance? So if we look at the waveform, then we will notice that this is time from T1 to T2 capacitor charges and from time T2 up to time T3 capacitor discharges. So 
now this discharge time is much larger than charger charging time and hence this discharge time may be considered as that of the time period t in half fuel rectifier so if you look at this then the charge delta q that is removed from the capacitor is equivalent to average load current multiplied by time t and alternatively we can see that the charge removed is delta q is v peak to peak multiplied by the value of the capacitance so from these two equations we can get the equation of capacitor so by putting the values we get the required capacitor filter capacitor value and this value is corresponding to the electrolytic filter capacitors now this is center tap full wave rectifier where center tap transformer is used as the secondary side during positive arc cycle this diode d1 becomes forward biased and current flows like this so it is from rl it is from this to this direction during and this during this this diode d2 remains reverse biased during negative arc cycle the upper diode d1 re becomes reverse biased but diode d2 becomes forward biased and current flows like this and it is shown here and if we look at the waveforms input output waveforms then in this output waveform during this diode d1 becomes forward biased during this diode d2 becomes forward biased and we have fully rectified positive as well as negative half cycle that's why it is known as full wave rectifier and the average voltage also is increased compared to half wave rectifier and similarly we can get the equation of v average that we have seen for the half wave rectifier now here it becomes 2 vm upon pi and peak inverse voltage across the diode of diode is 2 vm in case of half wave rectifier it was just vm now peak inverse voltage is nothing but the voltage measured across the reverse biased or off diode now let us discuss the full wave bridge rectifier now here again four diodes are used during positive arc cycle current flows like this and here diode d3 and d1 becomes forward biased they are on during negative arc cycle current flows like this and diode d2 and d4 are forward biased they are considered on so these are the input output waveforms sorry this is input waveform is not shown here it is input waveform is shown only here so during this part d1 and d3 are on during this part d2 and d4 are on so again we have fully rectified both positive and as well as negative half cycles of the input and here the average output voltage is same as that of center tap full wave rectifier equations are also same this are this is the summary of uh, all rectifiers for resistive load now we should note that if large electrolytic capacitor is used we can get the reduced peak to peak ripple voltage now here this is team pair solo problem where the students need to design one rectifier and all the phases are shown here this is a think pair share questions here it is fill in the blanks and it is true or false 